now we have the Grand Metropolis. And this is a level where the length can, uh, that they can start getting pretty long. Now for the real test. All of you are about to enter Eggman's territory. Are you ready? Not too late to change your mind. Why do you think we're here? How else are we gonna make the rest? Let's go! Here's your next mission. Destroy all of Eggman's robots holding the city. Every single one of them. And by every single one of them, he means all 85. 85 enemies! And again, miss one. You're going back to the beginning of the level to try and find it again. And they do hide some of these guys pretty well. Meanwhile, that guy was completely ignoring physics there. <laughs> he was clearly running in the air. We want to try and get over here. I believe this one is a power core for a vector. Yep. And that happens if you're in fly for if you're falling from flight and you land on a slope. Come on, Charmy. Charmy, get up there. Charmy. This level's long enough as it is. I don't need you making it longer. But yeah, this is a this is a mission where you're actually timed for the extra mission. It's eight minutes. I'm guessing since Team Sonic's none of Team Sonic's extra missions require an eight minute time. I mean, have an eight minute time limit. They're either five, six, seven, or nine. They decided, you know, let's give the eight minute one to this. And I really should have uh, used Espio there. Because again, Grand Metropolis, speed formation rocks here. So you need to make sure you don't miss anything. And sometimes some of Team Chaotix's levels can be a bit on the gimmicky side. Uh, they might want you to make excessive use of things like cannons. I generally avoid them just because it's faster. Oh, there's normally a sound effect for the switch. It might just be because I have the volume low. So, and sometimes they will do things where you're, you you uh, go along a path, but you'll miss some of the enemies. So, there might be things like a spring or something. Avoid the spring, because it's going to send you straight past enemies. And sometimes you might want the to uh, explore both a higher and lower path. But then you find out you just wasted your time. But you're going to do it because, you know, there's enemies. You have to destroy the enemies. So you think that you probably have to take both pathways. And I'm doing that, but I think it's a balloon on both sides of these doors. So I am completely wasted my team blast there when there are more enemies just in front of me. Just a, oh, there is an enemy there. Why didn't he get destroyed by the Team Blast? Well, how thick are these doors? They don't look very thick. They can ignore my Team Blast. Yeah, when the gauge is going down, any more enemies that you defeat then, you will also get rings for. Since he was immune to my Team Blast, it means that I didn't get that many rings. Let's get this guy here. Thankfully, the enemies never hide inside boxes. They, they're not solid snakes. Since we've got everybody at level 3, we should be able to get through this relatively quickly. Just as long as that does, you don't get hit like that. Do they want you to use the cannon? I say use Thundershoot. Simply because it's faster. You don't need to worry about missing anything. Although you do need to worry should any of your teammates decide to just hover in the air like that. Rather, Whoa, okay. <laughs> rather than... Um, actually attacking anything. There's two speed power cores down there for some reason. And what you can do, you can go over here. here go. I think I'm wasting time doing this. And there are extra lives here. It's pretty cool. Fortunately, I've got to jump all the way down against the pathway that's going to be trying to send me upwards. Here jump down here, jump on the crates, jump on the crates. Thank you. Here we go. I've probably lost the A rank doing that. But let's try. Alright, so the flowers. Charmy's a bee. So he can make the flowers bloom. Same button as the thunder shoot, but generally if you're near the flower, that's what he will do. He pretty much just does his solo attacks to the flower. And that will open it up. Most of the time it's a portal. It will send you from one flower to another. 
occasionally there's something in the flower, like it might be a power core, it might be a switch. It's very rare that that happens, but it's usually a teleporter. And that is how you restart the level. So there will always be a flower at the end of the level, unless it's a gold ring level, uh, that will send you back to the beginning. But there will also be additional flowers that can either allow you to uh, retry a certain section, like in Bullet Station, you'll be there'll be a flower that will allow you to retry the bobsled should you miss anything. Bingo Highway has some flowers that will allow you to redo the bingo tables. Just in case you miss anything, since you can't you can't turn around in those levels. So it is helpful. Now what you want to do is you want to take this cannon in fly formation, and that will send you through these rings. And you want to go down here to kill these guys. Now Espio, unlike Amy, he does have the triangle jump. And what's unique about Espio's triangle jump is he never lets go. So you can just stay on the wall as long as you like. I have had at least one occasion where he did let go for some reason. But generally he will just hang on to the wall for as long as you want. So again, hit square and he'll just fall straight down. So obviously don't hit X or he's just going to go zooming to the other wall. But it's pretty cool. Right? It's weird how Espio is the only one who can... <laughs> Apparently Espio can completely ignore gravity, which doesn't explain why he's falling there. If he wants to, he... Oh, listen, look at this. <laughs> now, what Espio just said there is, I'll handle it. The subtitles clearly said, leave this to me. So, okay, so Sonic Heroes has a lot of issues with its subtitles. Usually it's just something like grammar. Like it might be missing an apostrophe or something like that. But how do you mess that up? Like it clear, he clearly says, I'll handle it. So why would the subtitles say, leave it to me? It's like, where's the relate? How do those sentences at all sound similar to each other? Yes, they both have the same meaning, but in terms of the actual words used, that makes no sense. And you should have 81 enemies here, there's two here, and then two further up, we've done it. Yeah, the 8 minute time limit for the extra mission is actually pretty easy. You just gotta know, avoid the cannons, remember to take both higher and lower paths when inside the building. But, uh, yep, yeah, these are the last two. This is where I really should have used that team blast. This is where I normally use the team blast. I think this is the first time ever I'm finishing this mission without a team blast. Come back here. I've on that power core. It's 500 points, damn it. It's not like I got the 400 there. But that's it. And that should be an A rank, despite my little deviation. Team Chaotix generally don't start at the beginning of the most levels, and sometimes you can actually go back to those levels and you can still find things like rings. Like in Power Plant actually, you can go back quite a bit further, back to where Team Sonic and Team Dark would begin, and there are trails of rings there. Ultimate ninja power. Like, I, I just did it out of sheer curiosity to see if I could fly over there and I could. And that's when I discovered that there's actually rings there, it's nothing else. It's just a weird little discovery. But I'm not going to be doing that for uh, for Power Plant here. We're just going to keep going. So we Here's your next mission. Yeah, nowhere in the game, even from Eggman. Spoiler warning, it's Eggman on the other side of that radio. At no point is they, are they ever called Camerons. It's weird how the guide is the only area where they're called Camerons. But yeah, now we got to destroy three gold ones. There's five in the level in all. And they sometimes they're just right on the regular path. Other times they're pretty well hidden. Like, there's even one that requires you to take what's essentially a leap of faith. Uh, in order to reach it. And see, that's one of those rare flowers where there's actually a power core inside. Oh, come on, you guys couldn't. There was just one more SPO. Come on. You really couldn't attack it. Thankfully, because Vector is in his ball form, when he comes out of that hammer down, he's still, you can still attack enemies. Now, Charmy's at level 6. 
If we, if we were playing the PS2 version, you wouldn't be able to see the energy in the pipes or even in those uh, rising blocks there. It would just look like one orange... Uh, like one orange cuboid. You wouldn't see like any of the, the bubbles or the ripple effects. It's just stand, just a flat orange. Well, not flat, 3D. It's just orange. So that was our first goal, Cameron. Okay. Our second one is just up here, and it just goes to show that I used Team Blast at completely the wrong point. I really should have just done that the legitimate way. Because now I am in a pretty bad situation right now, because the next one is right here. But in order to get to it, I need to hit these target switches. Now I could get a Team Blast, but I also have to try and avoid his uh, radioactive ring things. And I, you don't have to hit every switch. What I'm not sure of, it, is it a specific switch or is it a certain number of switches? It's a good thing I had that shield there. What's not good is the fact that one of my attacks clearly just went through the target switch. There we go. So yeah, I'm not sure if it's the number of switches or a specific switch you have to hit to get that case to go down. But I don't think it has to be all of them. We'll see. I've got like two left. And now it's down. But I'm pretty sure if I hit that one first, it still wouldn't go down. Yeah, I got at least a one, one 1,000 there. I usually do. And most of the time they are in cases, which means you need to find a switch of some sort. So like, uh, just a moment ago, that first gold Cameron. Uh, there were, there were like a load of boxes surrounding it, and inside one of those boxes would be the switch. And that's how you would, uh, like, that's how you're supposed to get to it. I used Team Blast, so I didn't need to worry about that. So if you want to get through the Camerons quickly, use Team Blast. Because you also don't have to worry about flipping it upside down should your attacks not immediately work. And this is where it can be a problem, because there are plenty of stuff on the upper pathways, but the Camerons are generally on the lower pathway. Down here, for instance. Like, this one's a regular one, but I think it's just on the other side of here. We should have our third and final gold, golden Cameron. Let's see. Yep, there it is. Time for I have Team Blast ready. Otherwise, the switch is further down there. It's in a cage, so you have to land the cage and destroy the cage first using the Thunder Shoe and then Vector, and then backtrack your way up. And although you can see the energy storage tank there, Team. Team Chaotix never even come close to this part of the level, so I don't even know why it brings them out here. Like, they, don't, they don't go through that energy tank. They don't even get close to it. They don't even go through the lift sections. There's one where there's like a, a few bonus things you can get, and for the other one, there's actually a gold turtle down there. But the switch is at the top, and you don't even know that there's anything down there, so you sort of just have to make a leap of faith to get to the turtle. I found it by complete accident. I was just like, huh, I wonder if I can go down here. Just to see, it was my curiosity and by, uh, it turned out, to be, turned out to be right. Like Crash 2 or something. Man, who are those creeps over there? What's up, SBO? And you are? Just what do you think you're doing here? Who's this broad? Our client's adversary, perhaps. You mean the bad guys? You guys don't fool me. I know what you're after. Better stay out of my way. I still want to know how everybody gets onto that building. And like how nobody notices until somebody speaks that there's another team. I'll find Eggman's treasure first. Okay, so these are a bit more difficult. Firstly, they're using Omega, who's Annihilatron uh, can often ignore my tornado jump. Thankfully, he was very nice and was right underneath it there, and they fell straight off. But that can actually be a pretty tricky fight, and SBO, I'd say, has the worst tornado attack. Yes, it turns him invisible, but he's going to fall straight down upon using it. He doesn't move away like Sonic and Shadow do, and he can't push the tornado like Amy. So it's definitely the worst as an actual attack. 